Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are in the heart of uh, week three of the NFL preseason. We're talking with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, a guy who uh, definitely knows how to analyze these odds and find betting value even in the preseason. Right now, we're going to get his take on a uh, pit at Buffalo. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you go about finding value in the NFL preseason. It really varies. Uh, week three is different than it is week one and week two, and certainly different than the regular season. But, uh, you know, I've been in the business 28 years it's been about two decades though that i really perfected that art and we were six and two last week in the nfl three and oh with wise guy plays more coming baby buffalo's a two and a half or three point home favorite the total's 42 or 42 and a half now when i look at this game obviously we know that uh, there's still kind of a quarterback up battle going on in buffalo and uh, maybe for for them for the regular season that's not the greatest sign but from a preseason betting perspective it means you're going to have you know three guys who are all playing well in the preseason and all uh, you know with maximum motivation to uh, to play well and to uh, and to get the and to win the starting uh, quarterback assignment. Pittsburgh, you know, this is going to be their fourth uh, preseason game. They know Roethlisberger is going to be the starting quarterback. So even though it's a dress rehearsal, you got to assume he's just going to play a little bit, half mail it in, and then they'll pull him. Based on that, it seems to me Buffalo's a side here. What do you think, Joe? Well, you know, Rex Ryan has said that all three guys have played well during the preseason. I think that most people would kind of disagree with that. I mean, none of them have been horrible, uh, but none of them have been particularly playing well. You know, as we follow this, uh, Rex hasn't necessarily named the starter for Saturday, but Matt White Castle has been taking most of the snaps with the first team, so it does look like it's going to be him. The problem is uh, Buffalo is going to be very thin at wide receiver. Sammy Watkins, of course, their uh, their prized young receiver, he is doubtful. Robert Woods, who had 65 catches last year, also very likely out. And Percy Harvin, he may not play. So Buffalo could be down uh, their top three receivers, and certainly they're, they're probably going to be down – uh, a couple. I wouldn't be surprised if they're down all three. Uh, you are right that in the case of Pittsburgh, yeah, their starting position, their starting quarterback is certainly settled. But as far as the backup, Mike Vick was signed because they gave Landry Jones every chance to win the job, and he right. hasn't really done that. So there could be a quarterback battle, certainly for the, the backup spot, whether or not they're going to throw Mike Witt, uh, Mike Vick, I, I guess I don't want to make a bad pun intentionally or, or unintentionally, but if they're going to throw him out there to the uh, Wolves, so to speak, when he's only been here, uh, been in uh, Pittsburgh for a couple days, that remains t to be seen. I think I'm going to I'm going to go for my official pick for the purposes of this video. Pretty sound system that's a preseason system only when one team has gained 50 yards or less rushing their last mm. game. It's going over at a 92 and 52 rate, and I do think that. You know, team's going to show a little bit more urgency on offense. They're going to they're, they they want to certainly build up the run, but they're going to have to do that by, you know, having a little bit of a a passing. Plus, what you said, the Buffalo has a quarterback battle for the first, second, and third spots, where Pittsburgh, at the very least, has a battle for that backup spot. So, you know, if you believe in those position battles. That would point towards the over as well. All right. Well, the over right now is 42. But uh, then what about all that stuff you said about Bill, the Bills, uh, you know, being very thin at yeah. receiver? Uh, if you're liking the over, doesn't that uh, isn't that a knock on the against uh, against uh, the over with the Bills uh, having all those uh, receiver issues? It, it is. I do think that if they were playing in a regular season game, they would adjust by not throwing the ball quite as much. But now they can see what they've got at receiver and they've got to see what they have at quarterback. So I think that's where, you know, it's been. Uh, my where I've noticed over the the years in handicapping preseason that coaches won't adjust their game plan because of injuries either on their own injuries or injuries to the other team they w the way they will in the regular season because they still want to see what they've got they still want to see what they got at the quarterback position they're not going to determine that starting quarterback and the backup quarterback and a third string quarterback by handing the ball off so I can understand how some people would say that but no because I, I don't think it's going to affect the play calling as much as some people would think. That sounds great, Joe. Then uh, your official pick for the purpose of these videos is going to be the over. Currently, 42 is one of the widely available numbers. And if you think that uh, the Bills' uh, offensive problems will not, uh, you know, their, their, their issues at receiver is not going to be enough to uh, prevent them from scoring a lot of points, then why wouldn't you then lean towards Buffalo minus two and a half? Well, I definitely have something I'm looking at here for the side that could possibly be a, a, a premium play. But you know, the, the Bills, like I said, I think the reason that they do have a quarterback battle is because all three have been okay, but nobody's really won the job uh, yet there. So, you know, Buffalo's still a team, and it's it's in a little bit of, of disarray, 
But I think to get prepared for the regular season, they're definitely going to have to put the ball in the air. All right. Joe Duffy giving an official pick on this one over 42. And I'll give an official pick too. What the hell? Buffalo minus two and a half. It does, that doesn't scare you too much, Joe, does it? Uh, not maybe not at this point maybe not at this point but i'm still looking a little more cooperating uh, data before i make an official pick on the side but it's possible you could go with pittsburgh then it is definitely possible all right joe duffy from offshoreinsiders.com his final picks will be at offshoreinsiders.com thanks joe